The evolution of the human lineage during the period from 250,000 years ago until the Wormian glaciation 115,000 years ago was marked by regional diversity, morphological mosaicism, and increasing brain capacity. Among the most compelling fossils from this period are several female skulls that exhibit a fascinating mix of archaic and derived traits. In particular, the likely female skulls from Maba, southwestern China, and Narmada, India, dated to the pre-Wormian glacial stages, offer critical insights into Asian human evolution and its relationship with European Neanderthals. When compared to similarly aged or slightly younger female skulls from Krapina, Tabun and Sacopastore from warmer European and Levantine climates, we find an intriguing pattern of morphological similarity and potential evolutionary convergence. An interesting maternal lineage emerges linking female archaic skulls from China, India, the Levant and southeastern Europe. Maba has been grouped with Namada in recent studies while Maba also shows affinities to Sacco Pastore in Italy, while this Italian Neanderthal has affinities with Crapina III and Tarbon I Neanderthal skulls. Mapped out, this shows a continuum from southeastern China all the way to southern Europe in a region of warm, mild climates. Discovered at Lion Rock in Guangdong province, the Maba skull is an almost complete cranium lacking the facial bones below the nose. Estimated to date from 130,000 to 200,000 years ago, it has long puzzled paleoanthropologists due to its blend of traits. While the overall endocranial shape is archaic, resembling Homo erectus, the face and brow ridge exhibit pronounced Neanderthal-like features. Due to the relatively warm climate, we can imagine that she had bronze skin and dark hair, but her genetics are not known. She would have been robust and strong compared to modern women, in keeping with the demands of an unforgiving Stone Age environment. Recent micro-CT scans and reconstructions reveal large, branching, frontal sinuses similar to those seen in European Neanderthals. The supraorbital torus is continuous and prominent, while the frontal bone slopes backward in a fashion akin to Homo heidelbergensis. Despite these robust facial features, the brain case is not fully Neanderthal-like. The frontal lobes show an archaic shape, and the neurocranial vault is thick and rounded. Cranial capacity is estimated at roughly 1,300 cubic centimetres. Scholars such as Wu Xinzi and more recently Wu Xiaojie have argued that Maba represents a regional evolutionary variant, possibly a Denisovan or a population showing parallel evolution to Neanderthals. A 2025 study using virtual endocasts confirmed that while Marba's sinuses group with Neanderthals in discriminant models, the brain case places it closer to Homo erectus, or archaic Homo sapiens. Marba's individual is believed to be female, based on cranial gracility in certain regions and the general size of the skull. This possibility is significant because female skulls tend to display less pronounced features than males, yet Maba retains robust brow ridges, suggesting a mixture of archaic retention and population-specific expression. Found near Hathnora in Madhya Pradesh, the Namada skull is a partial calvaria, brain case, with remarkable preservation. It is dated to between 150,000 and 250,000 years ago, placing it in the same pre-Wormian time frame as Marba. Its cranial capacity is estimated between 1,200 and 1,400 cubic centimetres, placing it within the range of Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. Narmada's morphology includes a thick cranial vault, a broad frontal bone, and a relatively flat parietal region. The brow region is developed, but not as continuous as in Neanderthals. There is no strong occipital bun, and the sagittal crest is only slightly developed. Researchers have noted that the Narmada skull shows a blend of Homo erectus traits, thick bones, overall robusticity, and more derived Homo sapiens traits, cranial volume, frontal bone shape. While sexing, the Narmada individual has been difficult, due to the lack of facial bones and postcranial elements initially, Later postcranial finds, including a pelvis, have supported the idea that the individual was likely female. If so, this would help explain the combination of robust and gracile traits. The uniqueness of Namada lies in its geographic position. Situated between African, European and East Asian populations, 
it may represent an intermediary form or a localized population evolving in relative isolation. Morphometric comparisons with Dali and Marba show broad affinities, but with distinct cranial vault architecture. A recent multivariate analysis grouped Namada and Marba together in principal component space, suggesting they may have belonged to a shared or similar hominin population in Asia during the Middle Pleistocene. This clustering was based on cranial landmark analysis and further supports the view that these individuals formed part of a broader Eurasian evolutionary lineage distinct from but related to Neanderthals. Taban 1 is a nearly complete female Neanderthal cranium discovered in 1932 in Mount Carmel. It dates to approximately 120,000 to 130,000 years ago, placing it at the end of the pre-Wormian period. Taban 1 is often seen as part of a Near Eastern variant of Neanderthals that display somewhat less robust features than their European counterparts. The cranial capacity of Tabun 1 is approximately 1,250 cubic centimetres. The skull exhibits a low, long brain case, moderate brow ridges, and a receding forehead. Unlike classic Neanderthals, the occipital bun is not strongly developed and the vault is more rounded. Tabun 1 lacks extreme mid-facial prognathism, but still shows clear Neanderthal affinities. What makes Taban 1 especially important is that it demonstrates the morphological range of female Neanderthals. It provides a contrast to more robust European examples and underscores the variation within the species across geography and sex. The Sacco Pastore 1 cranium was discovered in 1929 near Rome and dates to approximately 250,000 years ago. It is widely regarded as one of the earliest known Neanderthal skulls and represents a pre-Wormian stage of Neanderthal evolution. Sacopastore I is often identified as a female due to its smaller size, thinner vault bones and overall cranial proportions. It shares numerous traits with later Neanderthals, including a continuous supraorbital torus, large nasal aperture and occipital torus. However, the vault is higher and less elongated than in later specimens, and the brow ridges are more gracile. Endocranial reconstructions show a brain shape similar to that of other early Neanderthals, but without the strong occipital enlargement of classic Neanderthals. Studies have compared Sacopastore with Crapina and found strong similarities in brain case volume, middle meningeal vessel patterns, and cranial base flexion. The Crapina site, excavated in the early 20th century, yielded more than 800 hominin fossils, including several partial female skulls. The site is dated to between 130,000 and 120,000 years ago, placing it alongside Tabun and slightly after Sacopastore. Crapina III, possibly female, displays a brain case volume close to 1,300 cubic centimeters and a typical Neanderthal endocranial shape. The occipital bun is moderately developed and the cranial vault shows a flattened parietal area. Scholars such as Holloway and Bruner have used this fossil in endocast comparisons, finding strong continuity with other early Neanderthal skulls such as Sacopastore. The female Crapina skull underscores how some Neanderthal traits, such as cranial shape and facial projection, were already well established in women during the pre-Wormian and early Wormian periods. When these five skulls are examined side by side, a pattern emerges. Marba and Namada, though geographically distant from the European and Levantine Neanderthals, share several features with them, large brain cases, thick vaults, and in the case of Marba, even Neanderthal-like sinus and brow structures. Tabun, Sacopastore, and Crapina offer a spectrum of Neanderthal traits, from the more gracile and transitional, including Tabun and Sacopastore, to more derived forms, such as Crapina III. A striking observation is that all five individuals are likely female. Female skulls often present a more accurate view of population-level traits, as male skulls may exaggerate sexual dimorphism. The presence of strong Neanderthal features in female crania, such as Marba and Sacopastore, suggests these were not merely male-derived traits, but species-typical features. Moreover, the similarities across such wide regions suggest either long-term genetic continuity across Eurasia or parallel evolution of similar cranial adaptations in response to environmental pressures.
The shared traits between Maba and Neanderthals in Europe are particularly intriguing, given the discovery of Denisovan DNA in East Asia, hinting that Maba may represent a branch of that lineage or an admixed population. Neanderthal inner ear morphology also offers important insights into these comparisons. CT studies of Neanderthal semicircular canals, cochlear length and vestibular structures reveal adaptations for balance and locomotion possibly related to rugged terrain or head posture. Studies of the inner ears of Sacopastori and Crepina specimens demonstrate that Neanderthals had a relatively short and wide cochlea and reduced anterior semicircular canals compared to modern humans. These features, although present in both males and females, have been confirmed in Crepina III and align with findings from Sacopastori, suggesting these vestibular configurations were established well before the Wormian period. Although no direct inner ear reconstructions have been performed on the Maba or Narmada skulls due to preservation limits, their cranial base and inner cranial shape offer enough context to suggest transitional morphology. Given their age range and the clustering with Neanderthals in sinus and cranial volume traits, it is plausible that Maba and Narmada shared some auditory or vestibular characteristics with archaic Eurasian populations. The pre-Wormian female skulls of Maba and Narmada, when compared to the Neanderthal females of Tabun, Sacopastore and Crapina, reveal a broader spectrum of archaic human evolution than previously recognized. These skulls span a wide geographic and temporal range, yet display overlapping features in cranial capacity, vault morphology and sinus architecture. They highlight the complexity of middle Pleistocene populations and underscore the value of including sex-specific analysis in human evolutionary studies. Rather than representing isolated evolutionary experiments, these female skulls suggest shared developmental trends and possibly interlinked lineages stretching from Europe to East Asia. Their study contributes to our understanding of how diverse, adaptive and widespread our archaic relatives truly were in the hundreds of thousands of years before the emergence of anatomically modern humans.